Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a hair tutorial, not a makeup tutorial. So as you can see, my makeup is already done, but my hair is not. And as we know, the hair always, always completes the look. So I actually thought to myself, you know what, let me just film this and actually show you how I curl my hair with a different tool than the hair straighteners. So as you know, there are many, many tools to curl your hair. There's conical ones, there are the smaller ones, there are the ones that have a leg, there are the oval ones, basically a lot of them on the market, which every single one of them will give you a different result. I personally prefer the conic one for myself and uh, for some of my clients when I want to achieve some more, actually when I want to achieve more loose curves and something that resembles more the beach waves which most of us ladies love. So in many of my pictures you do see my hair curled in a particular way which is using this, um, these two right here, you can obviously find many different brands on the market. Uh, from, I personally have this one from Tresem. I have had this for the past four years and it has served me really, really well. Now, let's dive into today's video where I'm gonna show you exactly, I'm gonna talk over the video because it's gonna be easier for me. Also, I will be looking a little bit lower because that's where I have my mirror. But before I start, I will tell you exactly what I've done. So I've washed my hair, I've, uh, I've applied the mask for five minutes, and then I've rinsed everything off, and this is how my hair looks right now. I've just blow dried my hair, but before I blow dry my hair, I applied this Lux Detangler from Sexy Hair. You know it's a brand I really like. Um, so I apply this one. After that, I use the, the Dream Coat from WOW. I love this. If you're living in a humid climate like I am, even if you're in different areas of the world where it's more rainy and it's not so humid, this is absolutely amazing. Plus it gives a mirror-like shine to your hair. Trust me, you will love it and it lasts for up to three washes on your hair. So you don't need to apply it every single time you wash your hair. Also, before I uh, curl my hair, I do use a styling spray, which is a salt spray. This is a professional brand called Alter Ego. It's called Beach Style Spray. And like I said, it's basically a salt spray that will help hold the curls. Then we will open the curls with this oil right here, which is from Husk, their Argan Oil, that I really like. You can use this on wet hair, on dry hair. It just doesn't leave your hair greasy. It absorbs really fast and just gives you that really nice shine uh, to your hair. After that, I will be applying a little bit of hairspray, but you're gonna see all the steps throughout the video. And I will see you right at the end with the final look. So let's see how exactly I am styling my hair. So I'm starting everything by partitioning my hair. This is a very important step before you start curling your hair. The smaller the sections, the easier it will be to curl your hair and you're gonna put less heat on, uh, on it. On uh, every section, I'm going to apply the salt spray, not too much and not too little. I actually apply like I would say five puffs all around and then I'm taking small sections as you can see right here and with the curl facing down so with the tip pointing down I am twisting my hair all the way around so you can see that the that basically the bigger part of the wand is actually the one closer to, to my head. I am holding it there just for 10 to 15 seconds. I have also left the curling wand on the first step. Because the curling wand doesn't have a temperature control, the first step or basically the 
first line on it is the lowest temperature possible because I don't really want to damage my hair with too much heat so this would be approximately 150 degrees as I was reading on the instruction box when I bought the curling wand. So I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side of um, of my head and I am pointing again the curling wand down with the tip down and keeping the hair for 10 to 15 seconds. You're gonna see part of this video on normal speed so you can actually see what I am doing and how I am twisting my hair around the curling wand which is always always away from the face. I personally prefer to have the curls like that because I find that if I am twisting my curls inwards so in like towards my face it will make my face look a little bit wider but that's just me. Sometimes I even play around with it and I do one inward and one outward. But now I'm moving on to the next section as you can see always always apply the salt spray um, before you can use obviously this brand there are many different brands on the market with uh, salt uh, salt spray or beach waves spray and they help uh, they help hold the curls really really well I used to have one from Kerastas before which is also called um, beach curls and it's organic as well it's part of their botanica if i'm not mistaken part of their botanica collection and uh, i really like that one as well and that doesn't really have salt i think it's more sugar based but it doesn't leave your hair crisp at all also another very important thing is after your curling each strand of hair resist the urge to open them because the hair needs to cool down so we can have the curls holding really really well for um, for a couple of days now as you can see when you're doing the back part of your head is not a very easy job but it's not impossible and after a couple of times you're gonna be used to it and you're gonna know how to do it super super easy like I said, I'm going to leave parts of the videos on normal speed and parts of them I'm going to speed them up so we don't make this too long and boring. Moving on to the next section, again a little bit of salt spray. I'm twisting the hair back up and clipping it with my crocodile clamp or you call it or just a normal clip and uh, following the exact same steps.
reaching the difficult part which is exactly at the back of the head where we can see you're gonna learn by touching this after you've done it a couple of times so just take the um, the part of the hair the section of the hair which is not curled and you can twist this in holding your curling wand in a horizontal position and then slowly twisting it down this has really helped me throughout my uh, curling journey let's call it like that because um, it is a little bit tricky when you're doing that part of uh, of your hair but not impossible and like i said it comes with practice after that we're moving again to the next section and the next section until the hair is done spraying all the time in between the layers some salt spray why i prefer to do it like this is because i don't want to soak my hair with this spray and basically just overload my hair with the hair styling product and like this i make sure Sure that every single layer is coated really well if you spray it just all over your hair I'm on personally I don't recommend it because it's not gonna reach also the other layers that are underneath which um, yeah basically that's the, the the bottom line is do it better hair uh, strand by strand and section by section because it's going to be easier and the curls are going to hold for a longer time and a couple of days actually i'm going to let you enjoy uh, the video and see exactly how i finish curling all my hair and then i am going to meet you towards the end Now that the hair is done, I'm gonna take this hairspray from Tony and Guy. This is a very light hairspray, and I'm going to spray this all around uh, my hair. Not too much, but again, not too little, because we do want to have something to hold the curls really, really well. And I am going to leave my hair to cool down for 10 minutes before opening the actual curls with this um, serum right here the one i've also shown you at the beginning of the video which is the husk shine serum it absorbs really well and it's absolutely perfect a few pumps on my in my hand and then i am going to coat this hair comb which i am going to use to open my hair the hair comb is gonna glide much better through the hair and it's gonna open the curls really really nice after i've done this step of course i'm gonna run my fingers through my hair but now you're seeing exactly how i am doing this every single time After this, another pump of the Husk uh, Hair Serum in my palms and I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair to open up the curls even more and give a little bit of a bounce to our hairstyling. I'm finishing everything off with the Mirror Shine Spray from Mod Affinage. This is a recent discovery. I really love this brand and I have actually changed even my hair color to them. But this spray right here controls flyaways and eliminates frizz whilst giving the hair a mirror shine. Uh, looking effect combining this with the dream coat the wow hair <laughs> amazing especially if you're in a wow uh, in no in a wow environment in a humid environment this is a lifesaver and this brings us to the end of this tutorial i really hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, you like the hair styling and i really hope you're gonna try it yourselves so thank you all for watching i will see you next week in my next video with another tutorial until next time bye